Today on Lucky and Mezzakeen, it is question and answer Wednesday is what we're going to call it. That's the final thing. No more. That's it. Question and answer Wednesday. So that's what you get. Hey, what, you, what can I say? So anyway, grab a cup of coffee and we will start this here in a minute with a couple, two, three questions. If you're new to our content, we are all over the place. We do training tips, tricks, um, shortcuts, all that kind of stuff. We make uh, little goofy videos here and there. And then we also have this now question and answer Wednesday. So if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. We're fun. It, you know, we're just here having fun. I am not a professional trainer. I am not a professional psychologist of dogs. I'm not any of that stuff. I'm just a normal person that loves dogs. And as you know, since you've been to my channel and you've been here for a while, for all my people that have been following for a while, you know I'm super sensitive when it comes to dogs. So anyway, we'll cut this here and then we'll start up with the first question. Okay, so everybody's got the coffee, right? Okay, good. Okay, so the first question is, what do I use to cut my dog's nails? Okay. So we're gonna make this short, simple, and quick because I got three, like three different items here. And um, I'm gonna be name dropping brand titles and stuff, but no, I don't get a penny for this. It's just for you guys, so. Um, first one is the Con Air Pro for dogs. And they are the little side snippers. Um, ta -da. Has a little safety lock on them to keep them shut. But it also has this little safety feature in the back that you can move side to side if you're an aggressive nail cutter. Um, this is just a really good part of this nail clipper because it keeps you from going in too far and too deep on your dog's nails. And when I do mine, I only do like maybe a couple of click clicks. And if you can see, it's not like a big gap in gauge or anything like that, but it's good enough to get, you know, like top and bottom and then done. So then after we're done with that, we switch over to one of these little filers and these are great because it helps take off all the little burrs, all the little crookedness and stuff like that on your dog's nails. So um, the first one I bought at a little local farm store, it's called a wall, W-H or W-A-H-L and it's just a little one speeder and I mean if you put your tongue on it, it'll pretty much stop it so it's really light, kind of more like a buffer. So yeah, I don't recommend this one too much. So. The one I do recommend is the one I got at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, Walmart. Um, it is the Oster or Oster, however people say it. I don't care. But it is a two-speeder and this puppy grinds stuff, let me tell you. On the low end, it doesn't grind as good, but on this high end, oh yeah, we're going to town on the doggy nails. So um, that's what I use for my dogs. Um, so one of the three I use, mostly I just use these clippers and this little Oster, so Oster, whichever. So that's the two I normally use. And with this, I only do like a couple little snips and then the rest of it is just kind of buzzing it and rounding it off. So don't get overexcited with these things because you can't clip a vein inside their nail and you got a mess. So um, just be careful with these. Question number two, next. Okay, so question number two is kind of a way out there question, but I went ahead and I'm going to try to answer it anyway because I don't have the right answer for it, <laughs> but I'm going to fake it anyway. Uh, the question was, should people give pets as gifts for Christmas? And I would say no. The animal shelters get overloaded right after Christmas with all these different pets and I would really really suggest if you're going to get a pet that it's already been confirmed within the family household that you are definitely getting a pet and you can use it as a surprise for Christmas but do not get one for somebody that doesn't expect getting a puppy because I just have a feeling that it's going to go south on you. Um, Boyfriend, girlfriends, husband, wives that do that, um, you know, that's totally your guys' thing. So I personally would just give a stuffed animal. If they love the stuffed animal and say, well, guess what? We're getting one, you know, or something like that. But I wouldn't just give them a live pup because, like I said, this time of year, animal shelters really start getting swamped with a bunch of rejected animals. And, you know, we're trying to cut that back. So 
I wouldn't do it. I would just buy the stuffed animal first and then play off of it there. So that's my suggestion. That's my opinion. It's not a, you know, that's just my opinion. So don't get all mad. Anyway, that is question number two. Question three. Okay, so question three. What recommendations do I have for Christmas tree ornaments? <laughs> um, I'm a Belgian owner, so I recommend just not even having a tree, period. <laughs> because the twinkly lights, the balls, the tinsel, the whole nine yards. Oh, yeah, that is that is the dog's biggest fantasy right there. That I mean, that's almost every dog. I ain't going to say just a Belgian, but Belgians really love Christmas trees. So, um... Because, I mean, there's bunches of balls on there, so you know what that means. So, for me personally, we actually have to put the Christmas tree in a different part of the house. Um, our second front room that's um, caged off from the dogs. Um, so, therefore, uh, we can pretty much decorate it however we want. It's usually a fake tree. This year, we got a, a skimpy Charlie Brown tree that my son picked up for me. So, thank you for that. That was a pretty cool tree. <laughs> so... Um, when we get it decorated, I'll put it up here and let everybody see it. So anyway, that is uh, my answer for that. Um, if if you're not going to get your tree into a different part of where your dogs can't get it, um, good luck. <laughs> okay, so that wraps that up for today. Um, I just wanted to get those quick questions out there real quick. Um, um, you know, t the holidays are coming up really, really fast, and there's a lot of things out there that people need to know about dogs and stuff like that, and I really suggest that you talk to um, animal shelters and stuff like that, see, you know, what you can do to help them out this holiday season, of course. Um, I know a lot of veterinarian places are not letting people come in and stuff, but there's still ways that you could like donate and help them out and stuff like that with dog food, and especially the shelters, um, old blankets, um, dog food, toys, stuff like that to give the animal shelters to kind of help out with uh, adoptions and just pups that just don't want, well, pups that just don't get an owner. So um, we're going to skip that because like I said, you guys all know what a softy I am on animals anyway. So uh, we're going to skip that. But anyway, if you can, get out there to your animal shelters, donate whatever you can to help them out and um, try to help um, puppies get a good home this year. Um, people need to adopt just as much as you need to uh, go out and buy a brand new one. So there's a lot of adopted pups out there. I know I'm preaching to the choir. So um, anyway, like always, um, go out there this holiday. Have a great time with your family. Um, have just fun. Just enjoy your family as much as you can. And with these two, Mucky, come here. Miss King, come here. Like these two here. Um, they make everything great every day. Come here, Miss. Get up here and say hi. Come here. Miss. Miss. Here. Get your Tell everybody hi. Yeah. So, anyway. Oh, and here's Mr. Danger. Uh, I'm going to say hi to you, huh? Yeah. That was gross right in your <laughs> So, anyway, as always, have a great day. And to always... Always, always take care of your pups.